Welcome back everybody to Somewhere Local. We're finally in the field and today we are in the Aliso and Woods Canyon Wilderness Park. So the Aliso and Woods Canyon Wilderness Park is right off of Alicia Parkway. There's a little parking lot. It's $3 to park, which is pretty cheap. There's a few buildings there and a couple historical sites for you to check out. Um, and then the trail takes off uh, towards your right. Well, so the first little bit here is a paved path uh, leading down uh, at the base of, I think it's Mathis Canyon, um, which is where we're headed next. Uh, but it's very well maintained uh, and heavy traffic, so keep that in mind. Naomi and I are about a half mile in. Really easy hike so far. Again, it's paved, very well maintained but really beautiful right now. There's wildflowers all across the hills uh, and the path uh, that we're headed down. So should definitely come check it out before summer gets here and all those flowers go away. I said wildflowers, check out a couple of these different types here. One of the things I really like about hiking, getting outdoors, is all the different smells from the flowers, the trees, etc. Toss in that I'm also gassy, and you have got a smell sensation for your schnoz out here. After a mile in, there's a fork on the right you can take to Wood Canyon. That's what we're gonna do, which is at the bottom of Top of the World. So let's go that way and have some fun. So we're at the bottom of the very popular Top of the World area, doing Wood Canyon trails about three miles from the fork in the road to the end. So let's check this out and see what we can find. While you're down here adventuring around, there's tons of little paths off to look at some of the more interesting things in this area, like Cave Rock is a great example of something you can go check out that a lot of uh, the locals like to tickle each other in. So we just hit May, weather's nice today, high 60s. I think it's supposed to trickle into the low 70s, but out here on this trail just means the bugs are back. So please make sure you bring your bug spray and prepare for the onslaught. It's crazy how nature recovers so quickly. Behind me, you can see some remnants from a fire a couple years ago. This place is absolutely lush and teeming with life again. Now there are a couple of little tiny bridges out here so make sure you're looking out for people on bikes because the path is very narrow 
Now out here on Wood Canyon Trail, there are a couple of wooden bridges, as you can see behind me here, but please be prepared to pay the troll's toll if you want to get in the boy's hole. <laughs> Really, really nice little hike. You know, if you've started before at top of the mountain, you know it's extremely heavily trafficked, tons of people, dogs, bikes, etc. But if you start down here at the bottom, much different story. Missing my baby. So where have we been? Okay, so a little catch up for you. So our fans, all two of them, have been asking about where we've been lately. Well, we've had some things come up with our other business, uh, had a pop-up shop event, which was very successful. So, you know, life has just been really busy for us. And now we get to slow down again and get back to doing what we love, which is hiking. We also know that Rust and Rose's number one model Naomi has been very busy and kind of on a world tour. Naomi, tell us what you have going on. A world tour, oh my goodness. Hawaii, is that what you're talking about? Oh my God, she's headed to Hawaii. So aloha, kalaka makaliki friends. She'll be out there. So something cool as we're walking along here, we've spotted a deer off to our right. And it's not just the flowers in bloom out here. Nature is everywhere. We've seen a variety of very large insects, birds, some lizards, and of course that deer. Uh, so keep your eyes open because there is lots to see. If you haven't hiked the Wood Canyon Trail before, it's beautiful, very peaceful. Um, it is a lot of traffic when it comes to like people on bikes, but not a lot of other hikers down here. But you've got some beautiful groves, like this one that Naomi and I are walking through. Lots of shade, plenty of things to see. It's really a nice hike. So Wood Canyon Trail ends at a residential area. Now you can call yourself an Uber, you can head up the west trail that heads up towards top of the world or you can double back the way you came which is what Naomi and I are doing right now. Hogwarts. Just a few more miles, come on. Stay with us. Now one thing we've seen lots of signs of, but not in the flesh, is snakes. So as you're out hiking some of these trails, please make sure you're keeping your eyes on the trail and the sides of the trail, because as this weather warms up, snakes will be out. Naomi and I are about five miles in, 
We just made it back to the paved portion of this hike, so about a mile left back to the car. But what a beautiful day to get outside and explore your local areas. You don't see that every day. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news, I'm here with Naomi, who just survived a deer attack. Naomi, how are you feeling today? Tell the people. I'm scared. <laughs> She's scared, ladies and gentlemen. And that is a wrap fam from Aliso in Wood Canyon Wilderness Park. Naomi and I did about six miles out and back um, in this beautiful spot in Aliso Viejo. So come on out, check it out, and enjoy nature. And if you like this video, as always, please like, subscribe, hit the notification down below for some more of our meh adventures here at Somewhere Local. Thank you.